Okay, we're taking a break from uh, wrenching on vans to wrenching on van parts. Got a lot of these doors hanging around and I needed to uh, strip them and uh, it makes them easier to handle, get the glass out of there. They're pretty heavy by themselves. Also gives me a good, I uh, good idea of what's in there that needs to be worked on, the window regulator, door latches, uh, wing windows. Uh, there's a lot of parts in these front doors that uh, need to be worked on. So I've got a few of these out here and I uh, just wanted to uh, get them done. Um, hopefully I'll get them done. I've uh, been saving some of these for a while. So these are the ones that I've done so far uh, in the last couple of days. So there's plenty more out there that need to be done. Um, other than that, uh, I'm gonna put it on time lapse and uh, just show you some dis door disassembly. There's another more complete door disassembly tutorial on my website. Uh, it's free and available for download if anybody needs it. So anyway, off to time lapse. Okay, it's uh, getting toward quitting time here and I wanted to show a few things while I had these out and I was thinking about it. Uh, of course, these are the window regulators. Uh, some of them are first gen, some of them are second gen. As far as I can tell, uh, the only difference is the size of this shaft. So it takes a different handle can see you can't see the difference in size between those two so the first gen is a little bit smaller and second gen is a little bit bigger things that go wrong with these are this spring can sometimes break these gears will get worn out the most common thing is that the gear inside here is bad and one good way to tell how bad it is, is see if you can rock that, wiggle that. That was not too bad. That was getting pretty bad. So. There's not a direct replacement for those little gears. We're working on that. Uh, there's a few other parts, small parts, that uh, it will take to uh, get a repair on that. So treat these, uh, treat these with respect and lube them up if you get a chance. Uh, it's just real hard to get lube in that pocket there. You'll have to almost take it apart, uh, which most people will not do. So anyway, 
Those are the window regulators. These are the uh, latches, the door latches. It's from the driver's side. The bottom one is for a first gen, and the top one is uh, for a second gen. You can see a little bit difference right away. One's got a rod, and the other one's got like a flat bar, and uh, it comes off by just turning that, and then there's a wave washer under there to put a little tension on it. This one's held on with a clip. Don't lose those clips. Take those off gently because sometimes they're real hard to find. So you can see they've got the door lock mechanism for the second gen. It goes up to the button with, with the hole in the door. And of course the first gen, it just rocks the handle and that's what locks the door. So that's that. Uh, another thing that tends to go wrong with these is this door stop check swing, which rides in here. This is the, the mechanism. This one has seen better days, but, uh, and there's a few pieces missing to it. There is no direct replacement for this bar. We do sell that bar, I forget how much. So you can buy one of these complete mechanisms from Clark's, or I'm sorry, uh, I think it's Classic Industries. And then you substitute this bar for this mechanism. You have to change out this, uh, take out that cotter key and change that out and then it'll bolt right in. So the other thing that goes bad is this piece breaks off, like this one broke off. This is the piece that bolts onto the pillar and this is a typical failure point. These things will just break off and this is a bad failure because when that door swings wide open, say you're on a forward lean, there goes that corner around the headlight bucket and that is a, not an easy fix. So uh, keep these things in good shape. We do make a replacement piece so that you can just abandon the rest of this, grind it flat. And you see it comes up to the same height. And then what you would do is you would uh, either drill and tap the metal behind it, which is on the pillar, uh, or just uh, go ahead and grind it flat or grind it behind there and then do a plug weld whatever you like and it ends up being the same height as the original so we also sell those and that can get you a complete piece i would love to make a final like a uh, safety item for those door stop check swings just in case that piece broke but most of them are lasting 40 years 50 years so if they uh if they're lubed up and you don't let the door go on a wind or a forward lean, then they should be okay. So uh, I want to show you a few other things here. One thing is uh, some weak spots on these doors. This metal is uh, really thin. Uh, sometimes you'll have issues around here where the hinges latch and they love to rust down at the bottom even on California doors. We have some that don't rust there. I don't understand why. There's one. That one's, that one's got mud on it, I can't tell. That one's really bad, that one's not bad, that one's not bad, and that one's fair. So that's a good ru uh, rust through spot, especially for back east. Back to these doors. There's a couple of items that you might notice when I was taking this out. Uh, this wing window, when it goes back in, it's usually the last thing out and the first thing back in when you're reassembling this door. So there's a wide spot right in here where that can slide in. It's a lot harder if you're trying to slide it in and out, but there is a little bit of a wide spot. So when these are installed in place and you're trying to pull them out, sometimes they'll catch on this spring and that's the one that puts tension on the wing window as it opens up. Of course, this one's got a broken handle that can be repaired, but uh, it's a little bit of work to repair these. These channels are available. Uh, this whole channel with the whisker in there can be replaced, uh, but you have to, uh, have to, uh, uh, can't do that one handed. You have 
to make sure that you uh, order it from C.R. Lawrence. I don't have a part number handy, but I will get that. And let's see. Oh, yeah, another weak spot as the door latch area. Now, this one's in wonderful condition. Uh, this area around these three bolts loves to fatigue. You're going to see a lot of vans that have that issue. Then that latch starts to rattle and the door doesn't close right. Um, it's a big problem. People put oversized bolts and washers. And we have a, a latch patch that goes around this piece. And you can either just put it on the outside and then run the screws through it. But it reinforces this whole area around here. And those are also available on the website, not very expensive. Uh, can save you some, some issues with that door latch and not slamming the, the door so much. Over here on the West Coast, there's a lot of issues with wasps getting into these corners. And, uh, oh, it's just, it's just a problem. These paper wasps. Nest, get in there. Oh, uh, yeah, I almost forgot over here. This is a real important piece for the door. This rides on the latch portion of the glass, and it goes approximately there on the inside. This end bolts to this bolt right here. And then you have to pull the uh, weather stripping out and you'll see that there's a screw holding it back in there. So I recommend a lot of care removing these because this piece is gonna love to break off. It likes to rust in here. And if you take enough care and remove this carefully and don't break it, you're gonna save yourself a lot of trouble. Uh, without this, I say it rides in like that. Without this, the back part of the glass is not supported while well, this one latch side of the glass is not supported so it's a real important piece that's uh, easily broken i see a lot of a lot of these doors that are trying to be repaired mostly because of that um, and it's a, a very easy piece to break because people will just get a screwdriver phillips and just crank on it and then it breaks so the proper way is to reach inside, grab a hold of this bar like so, and then hit it with the Phillips screwdriver. Uh, try to avoid heat if at all possible, but a little bit might be necessary. And you can get, go ahead and get those out that way. Enough with the doors for today. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, you get on a roll and you just want to keep on going. But uh, I think it's late enough that 
uh, I'm just going to call it for today. Uh, we've still got more doors out there to, to strip, and there's other doors that have already been stripped and need to be stacked up and vacuumed out and, and set up the right way. So get a proper inventory, update all that stuff. Uh, I remembered a few other things that I wanted to point out on these doors while I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and um, see what I can remember. Oh.